Hi guys, I'm Corey Davis, and today I'm gonna take you through a tour of just our barbells. We were thinking about it the other day and we wanted to shoot like a whole gym tour, but if we stopped and showed you all of our different barbells as we were taking a tour of all of our different equipment, all the space, all the different like accessory things we have, it would take forever. So today we're just going to do a quick video that is just an explanation of all the different barbells we have. And luckily I have Reese here to help me out and talk about why we have some of these things. Um, so you can understand why we have some of this equipment and also how much cool equipment we have here at Corbland. Our first barbell is just a standard straight bar. Uh, this is from Sornex. I've had this for about five years now. Uh, I've benched 500 pounds with it. I've squatted 600. We've had Matt Benson come in. He uh, deadlifted 600 pounds on this bar. By far, one of my personal favorites, and it's a great bar. Cool, so next up we have a Swiss bar. We have two of these in the gym. Uh, in terms of straight bars, we have six really high quality ones, and then a couple extra just kind of utility bars that are still fine to use, but not something we're gonna load up with 600 pounds. For the Swiss bar, that allows the athlete to have a neutral grip. So if you have any sort of shoulder dysfunction, it's a lot more useful for them. We have two of these that we use. Next we have our bamboo bar, which I personally use during the fall just to work on going through and stabilizing my bench. Um, this one only has 300, we did that great this year. Uh, I think this is a great bar to have in the gym, especially for young lifters also. All right, your bar number four, we have an axle bar. The axle bar does not spin and rotate like a, regular, a, like a regular barbell does, and it is thicker, so it is much more challenging on your grip. So you can use it for a pressing variation if you want to, and it'll take some of the shoulders out of the equation since you can't wrap your hands around it as well. However, we oftentimes use it for like an axle bar deadlift or an axle bar clean, so that grip really gets challenged trying to pull something off the floor. Next, we have our safety squat bar. We have two of these in the gym, and we primarily use this with baseball, quarterbacks in the football, uh, just athletes that have a problem getting their shoulders back, such as myself. Um, it's great, it has a handle in front, so you can still keep, keep the, the weight stable on your back. Um, I would suggest anyone that's training athletes that have to throw to have this in their arsenal. It's a great bar for that. Cool, right here we have one of our three women's barbells in the gym. So a woman's bar is a little bit lighter. It's about 35 pounds instead of 45. But the big change that really makes it useful, it has a much smaller diameter. So if you are trying to execute a hook grip and you have smaller hands because you're a woman or, you know, me, it makes it a lot easier to actually wrap your hand all the way around there. Um, so it is a very useful bar for either someone who's not quite as strong and they need to have their lifting be a little bit lighter, you know, 35 pounds instead of 45, or mostly so they can execute a lift that involves gripping the bar with a little bit more fairness into it. It's a smaller diameter on the barbell. This is the Duffalo bar. By far my favorite bar for squatting. You can see with this curve, it just allows me to get my hands under the bar and keep the, keep the weight in the proper position when doing the squat. I've also used this in the bench press, just working a little bit deeper uh, range of motion when doing a bench. Uh, currently we have one of them, but we're definitely gonna get more in the future. That's how great this bar is. Uh, you definitely wanna add this to your arsenal. Cool, right here we have one of three trap bars that we have in the gym. So the really nice thing about the trap bar is when an athlete is performing a deadlift, they can actually stand inside of it. So the center of gravity, the bar, and the athlete's center of gravity all of a sudden are lined up, making it a lot easier. The other nice thing about these bars is they have an elevated handle. So you can actually start the lift a little bit higher. So if an athlete has limited mobility, they can still perform a deadlift, but without compromising their form. If you want to do it flat, you can also spin these things over and you can grab it from this handle instead. So it has a lot of versatility and it's something we use a lot of when we're trying to teach someone new how to deadlift or if we're working with a younger athlete. The log here designed with the neutral grip. Uh, this is great for curls. We do presses with this. Um, even a little bit of strongman, just kind of incorporated into our training. You get that. This is something kind of new and neat and cool and just add some variety to the athletes that are training here. All right, next up we have our farmer's carry handles. So these farmer carry handles, we have two of them. They weigh 45 pounds, so you can do the math just like you would with a regular barbell. And what we use these for is if someone wants to do a farmer's carry or like a suitcase carry, and they want to go heavier than our heaviest dumbbells, so heavier than 125 pounds, 
you can load up weight on here. So we've had guys do 135 pounds in each hand, 185 pounds in each hand. We've even had guys go as heavy as 275 in each hand for some weighted carries. So it's a really fun piece of equipment. You can do it for a long time, so it's more of a conditioning workout. You can do it for a shorter workout, so it's like a short sprint. Um, grip work, you know, traps, back. It is a really fun piece of equipment. It comes up with a lot in our training to have a good time. Next, we have our training bar here. So for our, our beginning athletes, uh, this is a, just a great bar that's easy to control. I think it weighs around 25 pounds. Uh, we can put this in the actual athlete's hand. It's got places where you put their, put their hands in the proper position, just teaching the proper path, and it's not intimidating. It's something they can easily control, and it's a good training aid when you're trying to teach young athletes that haven't quite got the coordination to do the bench press quite yet. So our fourth trap bar is this other so trap bar we got from Rogue, and it's designed a little bit different. One, there is no option for a higher handle, and two, it is a lot bigger. So a trap bar deadlift is typically easier, one, because of that center of gravity being changed, and two, because it's elevated up. Here, you don't get that elevation bonus, so it is just as challenging from a height standpoint as a regular deadlift. The only advantage you get is that it is a more centralized weight instead of it all being in front of you like on a straight bar deadlift. So this we found has a pretty good carryover to a regular deadlift. You don't have to do a lot of conversions to figure out, you know, if you lifted 600 pounds over here, you're probably lifting a pretty heavy weight over on a straight bar deadlift as well. So it's just a nice little training bonus for us. It's not that much easier than a straight bar deadlift, but it is a nice little change up in terms of modalities, just a slightly different way to train. And this is the last bar, it's our curl bar. Um, curls for the girls. But you can also do nose crunchers with it. I just think it's just a good bar to have in here. Uh, you can put it on the bench, you can isolate, make sure you're working full range of motion. Uh, just another great bar we have here. And those are our barbells. We have, you know, over a dozen different types of barbells in here and we use all of them for very specific purposes. Uh, hope you guys come check us out. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, competitions, and workouts from Core Blend.